Hi, this is Tyler at Pace Repair Group, and today I'm working on a Lenovo ThinkPad T440 laptop. Uh, this particular laptop comes sporting a Core i5-4300U CPU 4th Gen, uh, Intel HD 4400 integrated graphics. It already has 8GB of DDR3 RAM installed. Um, comes with a 14-inch HD display. Interestingly, has two three-cell batteries in it. Uh, one on the outside you can remove, and one on the inside that you have to unplug from the motherboard. Um, so today we're going to be installing a 42 millimeter M.2 SSD from a brand called Transcend. I've never worked with before, so we'll see how that works out. And a used uh, SanDisk X11.0 solid state drive. So we'll test out what kind of performance we can get, and what kind of games we can play, and what kind of life this laptop still has in 2021 and beyond. Um, so, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is flip it over, take the battery out. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to take out. Um, looks like we're already missing screws right here and right here. Probably look into replacing those later. We'll take out the rest. All but two screws came out. These are being a little bit difficult, so we'll see if we can get them out as we take the palm rest off. So the next step is to flip it over. And what we'll do is score along the edge of the palm rest with a guitar pick. All right, so now, as you can see here, we have one of the batteries um, with a power cable that connects right to the motherboard right here. Um, we have a previous solid state drive that I installed just to try this whole system out. Well, just to demonstrate how to replace a drive, we'll take this one out and put the other one back in. Um, Right here, you know what, first off, before I keep touching the board, I'm going to disconnect the battery. <clears throat> it's always good practice to disconnect the power going to the motherboard before you service it. I should have done that right away. Anyway, right here we have one RAM stick slot. And we have a 4 gigabyte DDR3 uh, 1600 megahertz RAM stick. And the interesting thing about this laptop is that the rest of the RAM is built into the motherboard itself. It started right on right here. Um, which I don't mind too much. If we at least have the option to upgrade one RAM slot with maybe like an 8 gigabyte stick. That's not too bad. I can live with not having two RAM slots available. Uh, preferably I would like to have two, but that's okay. And right here is our slot for the M.2 SSD. So I think what we'll do first is take out uh, the hard drive and we'll replace it with the solid state drive. And then we'll get to working on the SSD over here, the M.2. And then we'll probably look at installing Windows. Alright, let's go. 
So I have one screw right here. All right, and let's unpackage the M.2 SSD. Luckily, we have a screw here that came with the system because one screw was not shipped with the uh, SSD package. All right, so all we do line up the SSD just like this and we push it in and then we can hold it down with the screw. And we're good to go. Let's plug the battery back in and boot to BIOS and just make sure that everything's recognized. So it looks like we have the SanDisk SSD right here and excluded from boot order it looks like our solid state drive is right down here this TS128 GMT uh, S430S. Okay so we'll go down add this to the boot order by hitting shift and exclamation mark, and we'll make it priority number one. And we'll keep the SanDisk SSD as number two. We'll take our Windows 10 boot drive, plug it in, and we'll access it by hitting enter, and then going to boot selection, which is most likely F12. Yeah, there it is. USB hard drive, generic flash, di flash disk. Okay, so because this is a how-to video, I'm gonna show you what I like to do when I'm installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. If you've seen any one of my videos, it's exactly the same. So we'll navigate to next, go to install now. And this system should automatically uh, detect the system key for Windows 8 as we're upgrading to Windows 10. There we go. So we'll accept. Go to custom, install Windows only. And what I like to do, which is just good practice in my mind, um, I like to clear both drives or any drives um, that I'm planning to start fresh with before I install Windows. So in this case we'll hit Shift F10 to pull up Command Prompt and we want to type in Disk Part for Disk Partition. All one word, hit Enter and we want to type List Disk. Then we have Disk 0, 1, and 2 which are the two solid state drives and the USB drive. Of course we don't want to clean the USB drive because we're installing Windows so we'll select disk 0 first. We type select disk 0, hit enter and we type clean to format the drive. Even if it's brand new or uh, previously been formatted I just like to keep this up as good practice. So we'll select disk 2 or disk one rather, clean, and once we're done we can type exit and exit again, and we'll just hit refresh. Alright, so just in case this happens to you, and it's happening to me right now, 
Um, I can't remember if the M.2 SSD, which is the solid state drive I want to install Windows on, is drive 0 or drive 1. Um, they're both the exact same size, 119.2 gigabytes. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull command prompt back up by hitting Shift F10. And we want to access some drive information. So we can do this by typing WMIC disk drive, all one word, space, get, model, comma, index. Uh, maybe we'll get size. And we'll just go with that. Okay. I'll zoom in just a little bit more. Hopefully you can just audibly follow my instructions because it probably is a little bit hard to see. So what we have here is drive 0 is the SanDisk 2.5 inch SSD. Drive 1 is the M.2 SSD. So now we know. We can type exit. And we can select drive 1 because I want to install Windows onto that M.2 to see how well it works. Okay, now that we're done with that, we'll hit next and we'll come back once Windows is installed. Okay, well, we have Windows 10 up and running very well. Uh, it installed very fast. And so what I'll do now is we'll eject the Windows 10 USB And we'll get to running Windows updates by hitting the Windows key, typing updates, enter, check for updates, and we'll come back with a little test run. Okay, one thing I should note before we move on is that in order to enable two-finger scrolling on the touchpad, I had to go to the... Uh, Lenovo T440 driver and software webpage on the Lenovo website. And I had to download the um, mouse, pen, and keyboard driver, the Synaptics uh, ThinkPad Ultra Nav driver for Windows 10. Uh, just a heads up when you do update to Windows 10 on this laptop, you might have to do this. Alright, so one thing we should do now is set up the second solid state drive. We can do that by hitting the Windows key, typing disk, and navigating to create and format hard disk partitions, uh, an app called Disk Management. And so we have initialize disk pop up. We can select MBR. And we'll right click this dark space, which is the SSD that has not been set up. We can click new simple volume. Uh, hit next and set the maximum capacity next drive D and it'll perform a quick format and our drive is usable so usually what I like to do is just set up if it's a storage device generally I tend to set up the downloads documents pictures music videos, all the popular folders, onto the storage drive. If it's used for something else, of course, you can do whatever you want, but that's generally what I do. Let's go to Downloads, Properties, Location, Move, This PC, Find your storage drive, in this case, New Volume D, New Folder, Downloads, Select folder, apply, yes. Okay, and I'll do that for whatever folders I want to move over to the solid state drive, storage drive.
a shot. Probably wouldn't be too great if I did that. So we're just going to try and get up nice and close. And here we go. Okay. There we go. That's probably more than enough. In my language. Oh, oh no, not usually, but for now, yes. Reloading. So my overall thoughts on the ThinkPad T440 is that it's a good budget choice for 2021. Uh, the CPU and GPU combo might be a little bit on the weaker side compared to other devices, but for the price that you'd probably get this at, um, it's a good solid choice. And with the inclusion of an M.2 SSD and a secondary storage or a secondary solid state drive like in this video, you can get some really good performance. It'll be fast, it'll be snappy. Uh, if I were to use this for everyday work or just general tasks, I'd probably really like it. Um, it's easy to get used to. It's got a nice look to it, bright display, and yeah, overall, uh, not a bad choice. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something, and if you have any feedback, just leave it in the comments, and I'll probably talk to you there. Thanks for watching.